Hi everyone, Mimsy here with some updates on the Dice Masters development and expansion grant now that we are a bit more than halfway through. So one of our main goals has been updating all of our UI and a big accomplishment we've had with that so far is the bag menu where we've updated the inventory, the companions page, um, the professions page we added and we'll have skills coming soon. But not only does it look a lot better, um, you have access to way more information than you've ever had in this menu. And the updates are um, hot updates with the wearables. So when you change, you don't have to refresh anymore to see your stats and stuff. We've also done a lot of work in the 3D art department and have been fortunate enough to expand our team and find some really talented people to join our Knights of Antrim team. And they've been working to redo all the scenes, the landscapes, all the NPCs, create new enemies, um, just everything they can do to make Antrim and the wild look as beautiful as possible. We've also been working on playing with animations to make the scenes feel more dynamic. We have some um, animations for the NPCs in the works, and we've also started to add animations just to objects around the landscape. Like you can see the trees swaying in the wild, um, and we have a little bird that flies around. The enemies have also um, just gotten a really nice makeover, in my opinion. I like the direction that everything is taken. We've added a lot of new features as well, um, some of them geared towards the new player experience. We've taken a deep look at what it's like to be fresh in Knights of Antrim and added loading scenes, billboards, and changed the NPC dialogue to be more helpful to new players. We've also added um, a character creation option when you are new, so you get to start off with some stats and a bonus skill. Our avatar switch is a new feature where you can click the yellow button in the corner and change out what your view looks like. We've also updated the combat to be an automated combat system and your enemies run away from you if they're little chickens or they approach you if they're big enemies. Um, and once the combat starts, it's automatic dice rolls and you can watch how it all plays out in the battle stats, seeing your role and um, the enemy's roles and all that good stuff. We've added dungeons with easy, hard, and nightmare modes. They all offer different prizes and the wearables and things you can earn from those change um, depending on the occasion. But it's all updated on the billboard that you see when you enter the dungeon. Our last major upgrade that we've made so far is upgrading wearables and adding an upgrade market so you can burn wearables to get better wearables. Okay, and with that, I'll leave you with a look at what's up next, our latest project we just finished. Thanks for watching.